afternoon viva mk it's time to give you our usual weekly business update um thank you for joining me and thank you to all of those that will watch later um it's always a great format to talk about the business and give you a general update but today i truly feel it's time to get back to basics and talk about retail and there's a few reasons for that in fact to make be more precise it is time to do that precisely talk about retail that is another um, garden and outdoors product um, that will be available in the new catalog coming very very soon um, but it's the reason it's time to go back to basics and talk about retail because our business is based on a retail philosophy if product doesn't sell we don't have a business so product does have to sell and lately and it's very important to talk about this that mlm companies um, have been getting a lot of exposure on TV programs and the press. So I'm not doing so many product demonstrations today, they don't always go well. I really want to talk about how this business does manage to retail a lot of product. And that's very important in our kind of business. So lately, as I say, you know, in the press, there's a lot, and on television, there's a lot of exposure on MLM businesses, you know, some MLM scams, sponsoring pressure, um, targeting vulnerable groups of people, um, making money only once you recruit, you know, auto ship of products that people can't afford. Now, I'm not going to say anything about any other business. That's their business, what they do. I'm only concerned about what we do. That's all that matters to me. It doesn't matter what any other business is up to. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, if anybody is watching this, I just want to explain how ours is focused entirely on retail. Retail is king philosophy and it is about selling product. We don't do anything else. We have an MLM background, but we do sell product. Now, um, retail is the lifeblood, like I say, of our business. And it's so important for me to go back to that basic conversation and basic foundation of the business. You know, we sell product. It's as simple as that. I've been showing you products over the last few weeks in the forthcoming catalogs. We sell products. And every time your customer buys even the smallest um, the smallest product, you make money immediately on that. You make a retail profit. And that's really important to understand in our industry that you do make money immediately. That is the beauty of our business, that there are real products that people really want with real income. You know, and I'll welcome with open arms, you know, anybody who wants to investigate our kind of business doing what we do. Um, you know, and it's hardly surprising that we are uh, what we are because it's based on simplicity. You know, you have a product, whatever it is, you sell it, you take some of that product, uh, that, that, that profit for selling that product. The more you sell, you get volume profit and then you get bonuses. There is no more complication than that. You know, even our sales plan is based on simplicity, pounds and pence, one of the first ones in the industry to be actually based on currency. And the reason I point that out is that, you know, I've been involved in lots of businesses and sometimes sales plans can be quite complicated that people can't work them out. I know that sounds quite ironic because we haven't quite worked ours out yet and it's having some programming difficulties as you know the ongoing saga. So it's slightly ironic but I mean your understanding of it. When you see the sales plan structure although our, of course our software engineers don't quite get it yet, you certainly know how it works. You know how to make front-end profit, you know how to make volume profit, and you certainly know how to make uh, bonuses from that sales plan. So it, it, the importance here is, if a product doesn't sell, nothing gets generated. And that's quite important, and not all MLM organizations work like that. A product has to be sold. And, you know, it, it can't get any simpler than that. You, you have to be able to sell a product. And in a moment, I'm going to talk about some of the people that have been selling that product and some of the success we've had, been having. And that's why I thought, as a, you know, considering 
our kind of business is so much in the press, why it's so important just for this one occasion to go back to the basics of what our business does. We sell product, we, we, we sponsor people to do the same, and there's no pressure on sponsoring ever. There's no minimum requirements of anything. You, so you retail, you sponsor, and you teach the above. You know, that is a principle that goes back to the earliest days of Clean Easy. Even as early as I started, and that was a long time ago, you know, you, you, you retail, you sponsor, and you teach, and that principle hasn't changed. What I've tried to do is make it even simpler with a sales plan that is straightforward and simple to understand in everyday currency. I, I don't know how I could make that any simpler than that. So, you know, in that way, yes, we are an MLM organization, but it's simple and straightforward to understand. You know, I always used to think that if you can't explain how your business works in less than 10 minutes, you've got a complicated business. And some people will argue with me and say 10 minutes is too long, that they can explain this business in two minutes, how it works and what you need to do. And you possibly can, you know, but if you can't do it in 10, then you've got a problem. In this business, the product is simple, the sales method is simple, and on top of that, the team structuring is simple. You're simply recommending the business to other people. And that's as far as our MLM strategy goes. So. Retail is the lifeblood, and even this year, you know, we've gone way over the million marks in um, retail front end sales. Um, and you know, the top 30 uh, retailers in this business have all entirely done over four thousand pounds. Now, you may think it depends how you view this. You may think that's not a lot. Others might think that's a lot. My point is to be able to do £4,000 um, by the end of April is still phenomenal. So that's our top 30. Each and every one of them have gone over that mark. And many in the top 10 are hitting the £10,000 mark already this year. And I've got a top 10 here of people who've managed that this year. The top 10 retailers in the business. Again, it's vital to point this out, especially for people that may have only been introduced to this business recently or the idea of MLM. It's really important to know that these people on this list that I will recognize and congratulate in a moment are absolute everyday people doing an everyday business, simple to understand, simple to calculate and simple to actually earn from. So it's very important to understand that simplicity in it. Um, and I, I, you know, it would give me great pleasure to call out some of these names. I don't often get the chance to do that on our live broadcast, but because I really want to talk about retail, the importance of selling products, that we have real products being sold all of the time, um, and you only have to look at previous um, you know, live broadcasts and look at our catalogs, that they are actually everyday products. You know, behind me here is, is, is the warehouse where they're all stored, real products, real time sales in a real business with real people. So this top 10 are our highest retailers in the business today in 2019. And a lot of these are bordering on that 10,000 pound retail mark in this list. As I said, the top 30 have all done around about 4K or more. And some of these people in the top 10 almost hitting 10,000. Now again, like I say, you know, we've only been selling products since 9th of July. We started from scratch. I know I can't use that commentary forever, but we are still a fresh new business. So at number 10, we have Matthew and Leanne Cripps. Number nine, Alison Beale and Jeff Alt. Number eight, Janet Lyle and Steve Reese Lyle. Uh, you know, so they are at eight, nine, eight, nine and 10. We have Steve Vickery at number seven. We have Peter Savage at number six. Michelle and Brian Hewitt, congratulations to you at number five. Sharon and Craig Davis at number four. Um, and then I've got the top three, the top three retailers in this organization today. So at number three, Sue Coleman and Alan Coates. Number two, 
Sat Winder Sagu and Michelle Robson, congratulations to you. And still at the number one slot of highest product shifting in retail in our organization today. And bearing in mind, they've only just recently started doing it absolutely full time with nothing else, um, no, no other jobs or anything. It's Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke, you know, still number one in the retail charts. You know, guys, that's just the top 10. Like I said, the top 30 have all done a phenomenal amount this year. And like I keep saying, today I really wanted to get back to the fact and not even have a huge amount of products to demonstrate because you'll, you'll get those all in the next few days when you see the new catalog. Um, but the importance is we sell product. Yes, we call ourselves multi-level marketing, but essentially, we are nothing until we sell product. Now, where product is concerned, like I mentioned, alluded to last week, we can't keep piling in thousands and thousands and thousands of products because that gets to a point where it's unmanageable. So what we're trying to do by introducing all these catalogs and ranges like you've seen, you know, very wide ranges, is to see what actually sells for us. I know we have a staple range and, you know, things like the basics, did exceptionally well. Well, that, that's what I call a staple range. You know, it has everyday products plus everyday cleaning products that really do, do work and sell well. Um, and on top of that, a great circulation and range of other products that we're trying to see how they're going to go. But you know, we're not going to get to the point where we're thousands and thousands of products. What we want is a number of products, whatever that number is, and it'd be a good number, but a number of products that sell regularly um, through your business. Because the downside of having other thousands that don't sell is that of course, it, it's static stock and you can't always have that in a brand new business like ours that's constantly trying to, to, to build and regenerate business. So, you know, retail is important. I think we've got that message across. Retail is the lifeblood. I said that from the beginning. If we didn't sell products, if these top 10 weren't doing what they're doing, if all the people in our organization weren't doing what they're doing, we wouldn't have a business. Yes, we do sponsor people into the organization. Of course we do. There's never any pressure to sponsor. You know, we have people that do their personal retail and that's all they do. They don't sponsor anybody. They don't do anything else. And no, Nobody will ever pressure them to do so or do otherwise. So, you know, if you're wondering whether the retail works or not, you just simply need to get out there and try it and it does work and it makes an instant income. And that's the other thing, what kind of separates us from many businesses, that you will make an instant income from it. Because as soon as somebody buys a product from you, you make an income from it. And again, that's vitally important to understand when you're promoting the business. You know, when you're promoting it, you know, remember, we never pressure people to sponsor we never pressure people into the business. We have a system that you can explain in the matter of minutes. And if you can't do that, you need to learn to do that, to be able to explain how the system works, simple and straightforward, not even any bonus points or BPs or SPVs, straightforward cash calculations, which we're currently doing manually with a calculator, but that's another story for another day, as you know, and I'll be communicating that to you this afternoon, as promised. Um, so that's the way the business works. You've got a whole load of products coming your way. You know, like I said, don't expect it to go into hundreds of thousands of products because that becomes very, very unmanageable. You know, we'll leave Amazon to do things like that. That's not really our model. Our model, is to have a bunch of products that sell, a bunch of people in the network that are fantastic at what they do, who are able to not only retail, but retail and sponsor, um, or just retail on its own. And that's what the business, that's the flexibility this business gives you. So regardless of what might be in the press, or might be being covered currently, and I've heard a lot about that, I haven't seen it myself yet, but I've heard a lot about it. It was absolutely vitally important to point out how we are and what we are and what we try and do. There can't be a simpler business out there. Hardly surprising as you know, I'm one of the people behind it, but there really can't be a simpler operation. 
So, you know, if there's people out there, you know, put, put the catalogs out, see what happens, you know, give them to family and friends and you will ultimately get sales. There's very few people that get zero sales from this business. You know, I think one of the keys currently has been, you know, it, it, you know, don't don't wait for that special moment. Just go and get it done. Build your retail story. Remember, in the good old days, we talk used to talk about retail stories. I think it's so important to have your personal retail story. So when you are promoting the business because you do want to sponsor, the first thing to tell somebody is yes, you know, you you sold you sold some of these or whatever you sold, um, maybe from the basics book or whatever you're selling, and you made straightforward profit from it and that's simple as it, as it works so that really was the main um, main angle that I wanted to talk about today and always refer back to this conversation we've just had just basically showing you the simplicity of the business and like I said I'll never be negative or derogatory about other businesses I just wanted to point out our obvious difference that you know, we don't work on some of those principles. I don't think there's anybody alive that could, you know, connect us with so-called MLM scams or anything else that they like to label some of this industry with. We are a retail operation that works very well with an MLM background because we recruit people and we build teams and a system that can be simply explained to anybody that wants to listen in a matter of minutes with literally no complications, not even a sales plan that is complicated to explain. So once again, thank you for listening. You've got catalogs and products all coming your way, like I've already told you. I'll give you the exact date when they're landing. Um, the catalog for outdoors looks absolutely brilliant. I know the weather hasn't been too sparkling, but I do expect there's good weather on the way. So it'll be perfectly placed with these kind of products and the things I've been highlighting over the last um, few live broadcasts. Um, you know, we've got we've got a, a, a great future of retail ahead of us and um, and that's coming very soon your way. So once again, thank you for listening to this very brief um, live broadcast. But as I said, and I keep saying, I really wanted to get back to that point where we understand the basics of this business that we sell product. We retail products and every time you retail product, you make money. It's as simple as that. You show others how to do it and you build teams, but ultimately we sell product. Thank you for listening and I'll catch up with you very soon. Thank you. Goodbye.